Now let me have the privilege to introduce Dr. Captain Eric Elster. He will represent the, the founding president of the Ambrose Pare International Mutual Surgery Forum, Professor Eric Elster. The Captain Elster is completed his general surgery residency at the National Naval Medical Center in Bethesda. And after that, he has had multiple deployment as a ship surgeon in the USS Kitty Hawk. And he performed as a director of surgical services at the NATO Roll 3 Military Medical Unit at Kandahar. Currently, the uh, Professor Elster is a professor and Norman M. Rich Chair of the Department of Surgery at the Uniform Services University. And he's a current Dean of Herbert Medical School of USU. Over to you, Captain Eric Elster, sir. Welcome to the Asian Collaboration for Trauma, highlighting the Ambrose Pare International Military Surgery Forum. This international meeting is focused on integrating military experience in civilian trauma settings. As Dean of the School of Medicine here at Uniform Services University, the former Norman M. Rich Chair of Surgery, and now a retired military surgeon, this is a topic which is a priority for me. You have an outstanding faculty, several of which I know personally to address this topic, which as world events have shown is critical. As you often quoted, war is the only proper school for surgeons comment by Hippocrates suggests, the interplay between military and civilian surgery dates to the inception of medicine. The repeated cycles of warfare have all advanced both surgery and medicine writ large, with this accelerating over the past two decades with wars in the Middle East. What has fostered that acceleration are international societies and meetings such as this, coupled with key documents and collaborations. Two such documents are the U.S. National Academy's report entitled Zero Preventable Deaths, A National Trauma Care System, and the Out of the Crucible book from our institution. The National Academy's report outlines a plan of action at the national level, while the Out of the Crucible book highlights those advances for the lay reader. The collaboration between the U.S. military and the American College of Surgeons has helped formalize these military-civilian partnerships and has been a key element behind efforts to ensure competency, set standards, and rejuvenate the Excelsior Society. A final example are ongoing missions done by our military hospital ships supporting healthcare in the Pacific. None of these efforts would have been possible if not for the foundation laid by my predecessor as Chair of Surgery, Dr. Norman Rich. Dr. Rich, who I saw a few weeks ago, once told me to reach out and pull the person behind you. This is the essence of partnerships. Thank you very much.